Let's take a couple of minutes and we'll walk through the audio settings on the AVHX 3600 VHS. So from any of my source screens here, I can touch the home button and we'll look for the audio settings across the bottom right here. The speaker is the audio settings. We'll touch that. And we'll start at the top here with fader and balance. We'll open that window. Fader and balance means I can fade the system to the front or the rear and I can uh, change my balance to from right to left. Once I'm done making those settings, I can go back. Next up is our graphic EQ setting. And uh, for more information about how to use the graphic EQ, take a look at the graphic EQ video. Next up is our auto EQ settings. And uh, right now that is grayed out because we haven't created any auto EQ settings. If you want to get the optional CDMC20 microphone, you can use the auto EQ settings here. Next up is our sonic center control. Let's open that window. And here we can steer the stereo image across the front of the vehicle using the sonic center control with this very precise tool. Make those adjustments and when you're done, you can go back. Next up is our loudness control. And right now loudness is turned off. If we hit the arrow keys here, we can switch loudness on to its low setting, mid or high. Hit it one more time and the loudness is switched off again. Next up is our subwoofer control. And right now our subwoofer is turned on. So let's open that window and see what's inside. Subwoofer is switched on. If I touch that, we can switch our subwoofer output off and you'll see the rest of the controls here have grayed out. I'll touch that again. And with our subwoofer on, we can go to the next setting, which is our phase control. Right now the phase is set to normal. We can switch that to reverse phase as well. We'll set that back to normal for now. Next is our level setting. Uh, we can change the level below zero or the output level up above zero. You can make the adjustments that sound best to you there. And next up is our crossover frequency. We can choose a lower or higher crossover frequency for our subwoofer output. Once you're done making those, uh, those settings changes, we'll go back and we'll scroll down to our next page of settings. Next up is our bass booster here, which is right now set to zero. We can add a little more bottom into the system by using bass booster, or we can take that back down to zero. Then next up is our high pass filter, and right now our high pass filter is turned off. If we touch the arrow key here, We'll switch the high pass filter on and we can choose a crossover frequency for our high pass filter. You're done making those changes. Next up is our source level adjuster and right now it's set to zero. So let's open this uh, window and take a look. Right now our source is USB and we can change the volume level of USB compared to FM. So right now I'm making USB a little louder compared to FM or I can make it a little quieter as compared to FM. The idea here is very simple. Uh, when I switch between sources like USB to FM to CD and back to the radio again, the volume level should stay around the same. So you can use the source level adjuster for each source as it compares to FM. When you're done making those changes, you can just hit the X to escape.